Hello, my name is uh, Luca Pederacchia. I'm one of the senior production specialists at SideFX Software. And today I'm going to be uh, walking you through this um, HIP file here. Um, and what this HIP file does is it takes the motion capture database from Carnegie uh, Mellon University, and uh, which is the, uh, represented by this guy over here on the in the red. And it's going to retarget that animation onto um, uh, one of our uh, rigs, uh, specifically this one's from MoCap Biped 3. And uh, the Carnegie Mellon University is quite large. There are thousands of clips. Um, so we're going to basically figure out a system to retarget all of the clips uh, in that database and have it fit with um, uh, our, uh, our skeleton. So um, before I get into it, I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, some prerequisites. Um, this uh, tutorial will be uh, relatively uh, um, uh, terse in terms of what uh, it's covering. So it's going to assume that you have some knowledge of uh, kin effects and kin effects retargeting. Um, also, this uh, file makes use of PDG or TOPS um, extensively. So having some familiarity with those two um, subjects is, is going to be important. Um, if you are looking for uh, resources on those, uh, you can come to our uh, website and underneath the tutorial sections. Uh, if you're looking for retargeting stuff, you can do a search under Kinefx and Quick Start, and there's this uh, Kinefx motion retargeting tutorial, uh, which is a, a good place to start. Um, there are also a, a whole variety of other Kinefx tutorials, um, some which are made by side effects and some which are you know uh, made by other people that you can kind of uh, take a look at and make use of as well. Uh, in terms of PDG, we have a lot of PDG specific tutorials uh, that you can look at. Um, if you've never looked at it before, I recommend uh, this tutorial, which is, can be found in the same way. Um, it's called uh, Create a Task Workflow to Build Cities. And if you, this is, uh, unlike the other tutorial, is not a video tutorial, it's uh, um, basically a document. So you download a PDF and there's some scene files and you follow along with that. And uh, it's quite good. Um, we'll give you a good uh, basis in PDG and a good kind of place to start. Um, a note about the uh, Carnegie Mellon uh, uh, library. Um, so this is a, the website. Um, one of the things here is they outline the kind of uh, terms of use. Um, and I'll just kind of highlight this section right here. Uh, the data used in this project was obtained from mocap.cs.cmu.edu. Uh, the database was created with funding from the you know body that they outline here. So uh, yeah, the uh, HIP file itself has uh, a few different sections. So the first is a manual retarget. So this is just retargeting a single clip. Uh, so you get an idea of how it works. Um, and also you can just kind of visualize and test it. And then you have the setup uh, which follows down here, which is basically going to uh, retarget uh, the animation from uh, one to the other and do it for all the clips in the library. Uh, this workflow takes advantage of PDG uh, to get this done. And our PDG graph is in here. And there, uh, this PDG graph does a number of things. So the first thing it'll do is uh, download the archive. It will unzip it. It will uh, retarget um, the uh, animation and cache that to disk. Then it will render it with OpenGL. And then it will make uh, movies from uh, those uh, rendered images. Uh, so this is also just a really great example of, of PDG and how it works and uh, how you might take care of it. Uh, there are some nodes to render the result of that and also a system for procedurally setting up 
uh, the camera to uh, render what we want to render. Um, down here, we have another section, which is kind of uh, is complements the main body of the hip file. These are kind of a few extra things that can uh, be useful. So I have a section on uh, smoothing the clips and different mechanisms uh, to do that. Um, so uh, that's worth checking out. Um, these are kind of done in isolation, but if you wanted to take those and apply them to, um, you know, the, uh, uh, the processing of the database, you could certainly do that on your own. Uh, and then there's also uh, this section here, which is um, using one of the clips uh, that we created uh, or retargeted rather, and using that to um, as a uh, clip animation for a crowd sim and getting that to work. And that's what this uh, setup is here. So talk about that as well. Um, the other thing that I'll just briefly mention is I've created this uh, tutorial in Houdini 19.5. Um, this is a kind of uh, newer version of a tutorial I created in 18.5. Um, when I did that, uh, KinFX was uh, still in its infancy and uh, quite a few things were changing. Um, so uh, it, it became um, antiquated pretty quickly, uh, which is why I've, uh, I've made this video. All right, I will see you in the next one.